and welcome back to the fourth part of this tutorial okay what I want to do now is let's take care of the results okay so I'm going to exit out the result and the reset button we need to take care of those and this very one so when we select any any of those it should populate the text box and so on so let's exit out for now yep okay back on the design view first of all let me take care of this result double click on the result or right click and select action action perform now for the result the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create an array there and this very array I will just call it max max equals new uh, integer new integer actually new integer and I'm going to make that four, um, nine okay that's fine all right for my very first array I'm going to say nine array uh, Mike or max max come in here let's say max equals convert whatever we have in there to integer integer dot pass int that should be uppercase so let's change that to uppercase there we go and what are we passing in there we pass in the very first data which is the txt jtxt score one dot get text there that's the very first component that is stored in the array so I'm going to copy that in total is 8 so I'm just going to speed that up by copying and pasting so we have 4 copy all of this and just add another 4 there we go so this one array is always start from 0 so the next one is going to be 1 we have 2 here 3 four five six and seven so that's it and this one is going to be two three four five six seven and eight all right those are my components in place now let's grab one of these to store all of the values so I'm going to paste that in here and that is going to be max 8 array max 8 equals 0 plus the next one and so on let's add it all up ok in total is 8 so I'm going to copy this and just paste there we go enter semicolon there all right so change the value of each mark that is going to be one two three four five six and seven there all right okay I'm now going to add total that is inside Mac 8 into my that will be J TXE total score dot set that should be set All right, and what are we setting in there? It's going to be Mac 8, but 
we have to convert that into an integer or into a string not an integer okay integer dot convert to string there and what are we converting to string is going to be mac 8 enter semicolon out here all right so that is fine now let's use an if statement to check or to validate the ranking so if the total is like 700 then we can class that as first class so let's come down here so let's say if mac is greater than and equals to 700 open up the bracket and that means txt ranking dots text that will be equals first first class there that is that done okay so we have the first one sorted so we can just copy and paste this so I'm gonna copy that paste that is six that's five let's come down here that's six hundred five hundred so in the case of six hundred that will be second class upper second now write it how it's written academically second class upper there we go and this is going to be second class lower lower second class lower here there we go all right so let's take care of the other conditions so move this down. i'm going to grab all of those let's paste it right underneath here now if is 300 no 400 that is going to be third class okay and if is greater than and equals to 300 that is going to be certificate of higher education there and finally if let's assume we have something like less than and equals to 299 okay in that case it's going to be a fail there we go nice one now the other thing I want to do is I want to be able to add dates really so let's compile and run first before we do that run all right so let's try that out with some value there we go correct but when you look at this it gives me that so why we need to check that Okay, that should have been first class so let's see why do we have that I'm going to exit out but at least the result is working exit oh it's a silly mistake I'm going to just change it all to else if come on else if instead of using ifs else if else if else if yes yeah, well in here okay let's try it out one more time it's running now yeah
there we go so that's fine but this is not allowed okay so I only want you to be able to enter 0 2 between 0 and 100 yeah that's fine okay let's come down here first I'm going to take your dates let's say dates equals dates creating an object date uh, my calendar is J calendar J calendar one dot get date there that is my calendar so what I want to do is when I click on that very button I want you to add the date onto the date cell that will have the all the data box okay so I'm gonna format it as well so let's say date format I'm gonna call that df okay that's good enough for me df equals new simple sample date format and the date format I'm going to use as follows let's say the date force slash mm slash and we enter the year one two three four that is good now enter semicolon there right so I'm going to say string so this now I want to convert the date to a string string equals df dot format format and what are we formatting we formatting date that is what we are formatting right here so enter semicolon there now that we formatted date we now need to add this straight into the txt date so i'm going to grab that come right down here jtxt date dot set text equals there we go that is it done okay anytime we click on that that we add the dates okay so let's run it run okay I'm going to add some value in there else we might end up with an error because it's empty click there yeah, that gives me the date let's say we clear it no clear is not working all right let's assume we have more than more than 100 so what do we want the system to do we want the system to convert it all to 100 or refuse it okay only 100 is allowed so what I'm going to do is for each of the for each of these variable here we're going to check what value we have in here so for each of these uh, array I mean so let's start by saying if let's come down here if max 0 max 0 is greater than 100 okay then No, that should be a coil of bridges. Then we want J T X T score one dot text equals zero there we go the very first one is taken care of 
Okay, let's use else e for the other one. So I'm gonna come in here. Let's say else e. Hopefully that should work. If map one is greater than that, then this one will become zero. Else if map two, then map three becomes zero. Map four. Then mark five becomes zero. Mark six. The six no five. Five. Then this one becomes six. Then seven. This one will be seven. And this is six. And finally, yeah, this is seven. Why this one is eight? There. So if any of them is greater than hundred, take care of it. So let's compile and run. Run. All right, let's try that out. There. Now try that out. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So change those to zero, and let's say we now correct it and enter some value in there. There we go. So that is fine. Alright, so the next one we want to take care of now is let's take care of one, two, the reset and this one. So let's take care of the reset first. But before we do that, let me show you guys the lines of code for the results. Array declared, each of the components and the text box assigned to their in respective arrays and all of the arrays are added together total value stored inside total score and here this is validation to check either first class second class third class and so on and here this is for the dates to display the dates then finally we have this to check if the value is greater than 100 just convert it straight to zero that is it hold on so if this is one wait a minute we have one two three no zero one two so this one should be three there should be three there so three is missing okay copy that and let's place three in the middle here okay this is three and this is four good we have three four we have five we have six six seven seven and eight okay that's correct all right that is done now we now need to take care of the reset double click on reset there okay to start with i'm going to create two objects so the first one is going to be j text field and i'll just call that j t x e equals nothing and the second one is going to be for the combo box and i'm going to call that j CBO equals no. There we go. Get rid of this. 
all right so let's use a for statement for components there's a component C in panel I think the first panel let's see what is the name of that very panel let's see and that is what panel number 10 okay let's go in there panel 10 dot gets components yeah enter curly braces therefore statement if c dot get class dot to string dot contains a javax file let's say java dot swing dot text field okay if that is what it contains then we want the following to happen there we want to clear it now so I'm gonna say JTXC equals J text field All right let's paste that in there that is C must be cleared TXC dot set text that is equals nothing in it okay that is the very first one taken care of all right so I'm going to just copy this to take care of the other one so grab this the next one is five okay panel number five then we have panel number seven as well panel number seven bring it down seven so we have panel five let's see the others that is seven good this one is what well, panel five that's a nice one okay we have five we have seven then we have panel four inside panel four we have two different components so I'm gonna come down here panel four change this to four then panel four again panel four again inside panel four the component this time around is a combo box so we have to change this to combo box and change this one to CBO CBO here CBO and this will become combo box here combo box Okay, and yeah, cook mode is an O here as well. Yeah, and here that is going to be set, set, select, selected index to zero. There we go. All right, let's see four and here should be a combo box as well so I'll grab that and change this to a combo box all 
All right, that's good. So let's check which other one. So the other one will be one and two here. So let's see. That is nine, and then this one will be eight. Right, that's eight back in here. So I'm gonna grab the that of the combo. And change this to nine panel nine and this is panel number eight. There we go. Okay. Panel nine, panel eight. Alright. So this index means the first value in there. Okay. So it will just change it straight to the very first value. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, if I come in here now, let's open it up. Um, where is it by there okay no is zero y is yes those are the index okay index zero index one look at it again in the zero and one okay and this one in the case of this we have up to the nine okay ten actually zero one and so on okay all right that is fine I've taken care of all of that so let's compile and run now run okay let's change the value and see what's going to happen there in the case of this index zero there's nothing there so that's fine Let's just enter value in everything. Let's see what's going to happen with this one. Okay, it's declared as integer, so it will definitely clear it anyway. It's not going to take in those values. Okay, change this to yes, yes, yes. And enter some data in here. Okay, reset. Try to reset out. Oh, before then, you see here, if I click on that, there, nothing works there, you see, because of these wrong values. So if I click on reset, there we go. Apart from this, is not resetting, and this is not resetting. Okay, one, two. All right, let's grab their name and get them sorted exit out yeah so this one is called what guardian and this one is that's course anyway right so course guardian grab that variable and come right in here resets right underneath here I'm gonna add in there guardian dot sets index set selected index make that zero there and the other one that is J J C B O Oh, JCBO agenda as well. There. Then JCBO course. There we go. Okay, those are the three that are kind of like singled out. So they are all sorted now. Alright, guys, that is the reset taken care of. Okay, have a good look at it it's all the same lines of codes it's just at one point you're gonna to have to change the the components like where we have combo box and where we have 
this combo box and this is text text field all right that is it taking care of all done now we now need to take care of these this very one here so we'll double click on that yeah double click on that so I'm going to use an if statement in there so if J cost code or cost not a cost code cost dot get selected selected item and dot equals okay if it's equals let's say select a course in that case I want this to happen let's come down here in that case I'm gonna come in here and just grab because I already where is it? It's right here. No. That is panel 7. Okay, let's go in there and grab panel 7. Panel number 7. This is it right there. Grab all of those. So if that is selected, chain clear every text field that we have in there so that's what I've just done so I'm gonna come in here now double click on this paste that in here one one down but I'm gonna to have to declare this here copy this and just paste that right up here and this grab all of this equals nothing all right so that's the first that's the first condition taken care of all right have a good look at it now I'm gonna use else if let's come in here paste this one in here so that in fact I should actually indent it properly so that it looks a little bit readable right yeah it's not better yeah much better okay that's fine so that's the first condition the next one is going to be I'm going to use else if so let's grab that so come right underneath here else if Okay, if what we have in there, let's assume is uh, maybe BA animation, BA animation. So I would then want JTXT course code. Dot set text. And that is going to be B A zero zero two. So that is the coming here there. So that is the course code for that. The next one is J T X T faculty. And that is going to be what? We we'll may call that faculty of. Okay, let's say school of art. Right. The next one is dinner faculty. J T X T. No, it's J D. J T X T. Dean. So that is going to be as a professor nine 
that anymore. Right. The next one is JTXT program leader. Leader. So who is that gonna be? Let's make that up as well. Doctor Parts. Carlton there and next we have the tutor so let's say JTXC tutor okay the tutor we can just say that is Dr. Kim Casey there we go that is it all taken care of so I'm gonna grab this and just use it for the others okay copy that paste it there and just change things around try it again copy paste so I'm gonna speed that up guys okay that is it all done guys so have a good look at those there we go those are all the conditions for the combo box okay let's run that run now if I select any of these that should populate that okay we need to check this maybe it's the wrong spelling there that is fine yeah that's working fine okay right apart from this okay let's try this out all right we need to check out this as well okay let's go back in here let's see what do i have in here i have be a animation now let's see what do i have right in here Okay, wait a minute, go back in here, grab this BA animation. Come right in here, select that. BA, no, look at the spelling. Wrong spelling of animation. Alright, that's one. This one is fine. So let me copy that. And let's go inside my code here. What did I put in there? there okay leave the selection made is this clear everything in here run see that again yeah that's fine that is still not working that is working now there. I think I spotted the error look at it there was supposed to be clear in there which I did not clear alright come back in here just paste that that I've just copied so I'm going to say dot text and set that to no dead in that case that means there will be an error in the clay as well so I might as well just take care of that now so let's run it and see let's see come on there and there we go that's fine it's working now there okay let me try declare out if I say clear oh that works all right okay so that is taken care of now I want to set all of this to zero and use this as a selector so let's come right in here I want to select every single component here this one's 
I will first of all come in here. Let's get it aligned. Let's align. Align will be center. Text component zero. And I think that will do. No. This. Enable. That will be false. Enable. Unchecked. There we go. So only this we enable it so double click on this so right in here I'm going to use an if statement if J C B O J C B O model one dot get selected item dot equals if it's equals nothing okay so and I want something to happen I want jtxt score dot no score one dot set text and that will be equals zero there now JTXC set text no dot set enable okay grab this to enable enable it will be false dot set enable do that again dot set enable equals false else there in that case this will be cleared that will be cleared enable will come true enable will come true and we set we request focus here let's say dot request focus there we go that is it done I'm gonna copy this and use it for the others copy now come right in here the next one is to double click on module number two right up here paste and change this to two everything will be two 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 okay so you guys see that Mode one text box one mode two text box two so mode number three text box will be three 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 and three so only if we select a subject will the system be enabled so the next one is number four paste and change this to four 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 and four yep yeah. and we have five there turn that to five Six. Six. Then we have seven and eight. Seven. 
7 there we go and finally 8 there change this to 8 8 and 8 there guys all done I think I'm officially finished all right I'm gonna compile and run the program let's see it's coming up run oh it's coming up now there we go okay guys let's just speed this up and uh, I'm gonna add some value here for the student. No, let's say it's a BS student. And let's add the names and details. And that's gonna be Cami Wills. Ghost Town. and that is it guys we now need to just check out the details so I'm let me show it to you as you can see there's nothing in there so I'm going to now click on result and let's add that straight to our database let me show you my database here the table and let's just click on add here there we go successfully added so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel there's a lot of benefit if you're a member so you all have a nice day now and bye for now